First off, guys, how did you guys feel on Ziggy's performance? Good defense. You know that right now, straight down the middle of quick work. No, but for real, man, straight out of Mary Valley, no one can keep up with this guy, man. He's too slick in the ring, so. Yeah. And he's one of us. He's a real motherfucker, so. Mary Valley, all day, right? There you go. Yeah, he carried off. He shut it down tonight. He shut it down. Yeah, my people are on Alexis, say some words to the camera. Oh, look, that's her. Okay, I just need to say that we, um, Ziggy's been working hard for this underground. I see, you know, all the action at home, in the gym. He's a really dedicated fighter, and all you're going to see from him is bigger and better. So get ready, Phoenix. Um, you know, Mary Bell, represent. Here we go. Mary Bell. Ziggy's fan friendly. I'm here at the Fort McDowell Casino. I'm here with the victorious Ziggy, Paul Romero. Now, Ziggy, first off, to the five fans that didn't catch your fight, can you explain it to them and how you feel after the fight? Oh, I feel good. I felt like I definitely won the fight. The guy was uh, trying to survive. He was just boxing, moving. Not even boxing, just moving and moving. I get close. He would hold me. And you know, he was just trying to survive. He didn't want to mix anything up. But I tried and I hit him with, us with some good shots. Mm -hmm. Now, to a lot of people that don't know who uh, Paul Romero is, he's actually a slick boxer. And today, man, I mean, you showed a different side of you. You showed that you could you could box and also you could you know you could come forward. And you did you came forward pretty good. Um, you know, was that the game plan? Because you know, I, I know Ramon Chacon. You know, he's a he's a slick boxer. So I said, no, I don't know how. Is this going to be a chess match or is Ziggy going to attack? Is that part of the game plan? Yeah, I knew I was going to have to come and get him. Um, I have a lot of fights. I have a lot of experience. So. I fought guys that move and stuff in amateurs, so I could come forward, so I mix it up. I do a little bit of everything. Yeah, Ziggy. Well, you, yeah, you're a very versatile fighter, and you showed, and you proved to a lot of people today that you know you could, you know, if you go go down in later rounds and and you have to attack or you have to become a boxer, you could, you know, you could switch back and forth. Now, Ziggy, you have a very big following. Uh, you know, whenever you were in the, the mic getting interviewed after the fight. Man, people were just screaming, you know. I mean, what do you have to say to your to your people? Oh, uh, thank everybody for coming out. Thank everybody for supporting me. I appreciate it the most. I couldn't. Uh, there's not enough words I can explain what I appreciate them people for supporting me and loving me the way they do. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Also, what I was gonna say. Yeah. I was interviewing him after the fight. Yeah. Yeah. Let them know. Yeah. You know, I was interviewing him after the fight, and you were saying that he, he, you nice caught him. These interviews. Yeah, you caught him um, with a nice hook. I think he said. Fourth round or fifth round? Did you know you hurt him? In, uh, you know, did you, did you think you hurt him anytime um, uh, when you're fighting him? I couldn't even tell. Dude kept just running and running and running. Yeah. Dude just running. I hit him. And he'll run and just run and run and run and run. Yeah, he, was, he was a very uh, tough opponent to hit, but you know what? You you pressured and you showed another side of you, and you sh you showed that you know you're a boxer who could do both ways, very versatile, and uh, you know kind of like you know like uh, I I think you know your your idol Mayweather, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I try. Hopefully one day. Yeah, there we go. Here with Paul Ziggy Romero after his victory over Ramon Chacon. And thank you for this interview also. Thank you.